from the developers of massive RPGs like Pillars of Eternity and The Outer Worlds comes a project where Obsidian scaled down a bit, way, way down, for a bite-sized survival game that has gamers confronting one of their greatest fears, touching grass grounded. Bug your friends to play Grounded, an up to four player survival game that's a mashup of Honey, I Shrunk the Kids with every survival game you've ever experienced that you'll probably just play on single player because there isn't any public matchmaking that will have you guiding a handful of hapless miniaturized teens to solve the mystery of their tiny size by exploring a backyard packed with secrets to find, gadgets and buildings to craft, and most importantly, a ton of angry bugs the size of honking pumas that are conspiring to bite that booty with enough intensity that they had to put in a scary spider slider for arachnophobes. Which is commendable, but like, if you're scared of spiders, maybe the game where they're as big as a bus is not for you. And let me tell you, if you ate bugs, you probably won't like how realistic they look. But they kind of make up for it by letting you put a hat on an aphid. It's like dressing up your dog. Your very, very jiggly dog. Discover the wonders of the backyard as you guide your chosen prepubescent through the traditional survival game progression of putting rocks and sticks together to make the thing you need to cut down more things and slowly scavenging further and further outward, making the bodies of your slain buggy foes into armor like you're playing Monster Hunter and build up crew defenses for the horrible insect payback raids, which just feels like trying to camp in the summer if slightly more life-threatening all while making sure your tiny teen doesn't starve or dehydrate themselves to death, an aspect that they made far more appealing in the movies. I'm sure it tastes just like a shrimp cocktail, but from the land, mmm, gushy. Just pretend it's beef jerky. Uncover the mysteries at the heart of Grounded's surprisingly extensive story. Well, maybe not that surprising. It's not the best choice, it's Spacer's choice! As you make your way into the farthest reaches of the backyard, discovering tiny little labs filled with adorable itsy-bitsy equipment and friendly robots with further mysteries to explore, including evil corporate intrigue, a secret and beginning formula to discover, a side effect with the upsetting name Raisining Syndrome that doesn't involve cold water, and an unfortunate side effect of the shrinking process on humans, and a fetch quest that will make you basically explore the rest of the map in a storyline that goes far beyond what's necessary for a game that's mostly about beating the living shit out of ants. I mean, between the giant Etch-a-Sketch and Battletoad, that's about as much narrative as I really needed. So grab that makeshift spear and get ready to be downsized. Because if the word survival game doesn't already make you want to drill several holes in your head, then Grounded makes a solid case for getting tiny. Plus, then you'll be ready for the sequel, where they put you in a human body with Miss Frizzle. I mean, seriously though, someone really needs to stop her. She plays God on a regular basis and pretends it's a field trip. Starring Fresh Prince of Backyard Still Listens to Broken Side Perpetual Wedgie Stay Winning Big Macintosh and Raid Yard Nautica. You know, I kept waiting for the part where I get crushed by a giant foot and it never came. Anybody else think about that? Like, all the time? Uh. Perhaps I've said too much. Tell us what you'd like to hear in my epic voice in the comments below. With every death comes honor. With honor, redemption. Yes, I heard you need healing. Jordan jams in your face. Going to put them in their place. Pro stars. I'll take what I can get. I call my teammates dad because they're never there.